Good afternoon, Dave here, AF5DN. And I wanted to do a video about this TID Radio H3. Now the folks at TID Radio sent this to me for testing and evaluation. Uh, they put no caveats on it that uh, I give them a good evaluation. So I'm gonna give it an honest evaluation. Now there are a lot of YouTube videos out there that show this radio. They show compared to UV5Rs, they'll give you the specifications, measure it with micrometers, uh, hook up watt meters and, and put it on here where the antenna is and show you how much power it's really putting out. Now to me, all of that is irrelevant. What I wanna know is does it work in the field when I want it to? So I recently participated in a public service event. It was a walk to end Alzheimer's. And I use this radio as my primary means of communications for the entire walk. Battery held up fine. Communications were great. Uh, I could hear what they were saying. People could hear me what, the, bleh, what I was saying. <laughs> so here's the clips uh, that I took during the walk. And you'll see that this radio, surprisingly small, surprisingly inexpensive, really does a good job. And I will recommend it. Good morning. It is zero dark 30. <laughs> and uh, today I'm going to be testing this little radio. It is a TID Radio H3. And it was actually sent to me by the folks at TID Radio for testing and evaluation. Uh, I made no claims that it would be a good test or an evaluation, just that I would be honest. And uh, so far, uh, it seems to be a pretty nice little little radio. Now, there are a lot of uh, YouTube videos that give the specifications. Okay. And oh, there we go. Follow me. A lot of radio, <clears throat> YouTube videos that give specifications and side-by-side -side comparisons and show you the documentation and, un follow me. and unboxing and all of that Go kind on. of stuff. Most of that, to me, is not useful information. What I want to know is how well does it work in the field? How does it You're in uh, your wife's car. <laughs> How well does it work in the field? So today I am participating in a public service event. It's walked into Alzheimer's. And I'm going to put this little radio through its paces. I'll, break off. I'll come back to you guys in a few minutes. <clears throat> so I'm yeah, going to put... I think we're good. I've got it in GPS. So uh, I, I think I even remember seeing it over here before. So anything's better than sitting out and on the side of the road. So... N5 GMJ. <laughs> yeah, just pull to the right when you go through the uh, traffic circle. And it's that first place you can turn. They're looking for somewhere to buy coffee this early in the morning. <clears throat> and uh, that is the Racy's van right repeater that we're going to be GMJ. using today. So um, that's my goal is to put this radio through its paces in an actual in use situation and see how well it works. Now, initially, I'm gonna give you my initial impressions. I like it. It feels good in your hand. It's not flimsy feeling, it feels solid. I like, I may be a little bit too close for that to, to focus. I like the color screen. Uh, I have a standard set of programming channels that I use. Uh, it's in Chirp, let's plug right into Chirp, pull down the, uh, the the program and and here I am today. So right now it's uh, about 7:10 in the morning. Uh, probably won't start activating until about uh, I'm guessing 8:30 before they do the primary roll call. So I'm actually at the location I'm supposed to be. I think <laughs> we'll find out a little closer when all the rest of the volunteers start showing up, and then we'll put this little radio this little. TID Radio H3 through its paces in a real environment and see how well, how well it works. Stand by. Okay, uh, 
This is a normal function. This is why this radio has to work. This will be the the first true test of this little H3 to radio H3. Can they hear me on my check-in? That's very important. He's in the process of moving. AF5DN on station. Thank you, sir. Turn around east, W5ICK. W5ICK en route to location. Got you checked in, sir. Thank you. Turn around west, KG5JPW. First test, pass. Remember, if you're outdoors, Make sure you stay hydrated, especially in Texas. It's a beautiful day today, but man, it can be hot. Stay hydrated. You have them send a bouquet to the James West booth and the tenant. The bouquet to the James West booth? Is that what you said? Yes, in the big time. Okay, so the race is fixing to start, or about to start, depending upon what part of the country you're from. Texas, we're fixing everything. So I'm going to walk across the street to my ultimate location and get set up. All right. So All right, so here we are, we're on site. Got my set, seat set up, waiting on the race to start. Well, it's a walk, not a race, okay. So, just waiting for it to start. Beautiful morning outside. Just waiting for some people to come by. So I kind of apologize for the road noise and this is probably not the best microphone in the world. Uh, but just as a reminder, what we're doing here is we're field testing the TID radio. This is probably one of the least expensive radios you can buy. However, so far it is operated flawlessly and uh, I like the audio, I like the screen, I like it's easy to program, 
but we'll we'll finish off. We'll get we'll give it a good test throughout the rest of the uh, the Alzheimer's walk. So let's let's keep after it. Yeah, thank you. All right, 9.19, now the event starts at nine o'clock, so it took them about 20 minutes to kind of get through all of the thanking people and national anthem and all that kind of stuff. So now we got to start. Um, I'm a little over halfway through the course, uh, so we'll just see what the tra radio traffic looks like coming uh, to, to me. a little bit of confusion when they move people around but that's to be expected we're volunteers they don't pay us for this <laughs> so this is the still have a couple of stragglers but just about that this is kind of what we do at a public service event UCT my first walkers have come to that was interesting. We wait. <laughs> Listen to traffic, monitor, and wait. And that's the most important part. Copy your first walkers coming through. Thank you. Is listening to what's going on. I'll just repeat that. A lot of guys have a problem with that. I don't know why. Okay, so here's the little uh, TID radio. Uh, so far it's done a bang up job. I was a little concerned that the color screen wouldn't be real visible during the uh, the daylight outside, but it's doing it's doing pretty good. Uh, no problems whatsoever so far. Just so you know, they are on the east side of the street on the sidewalk. They are not in the street at all, so the street is open. Alright, thank you sir, appreciate it. A lot of background noise. We have um, opened the traffic both directions now uh, on the main street. Okay, thank you, sir. A lot of background noise. Uh, and that kind of happens when you're in an environment like this where, not not where I am, but up at the main uh, area where they are, there's a lot, a lot, a lot of people, and uh, you get a lot of mic a lot of noise in the background. Just like you can probably hear these cars going by on the street where I am, uh, these microphones pick a lot of that background noise up. I don't know of a good solution. If you do, put in a comment uh, on the video on how to uh, help with background noise on these kinds of microphones. Leave us a comment. That's me over there. I'm parked on that side of the road. Beautiful day here in North Texas. I wanted to show you my little seat that I use. If I can get down there. There we go. This is the, uh, the little pop-up chair. You can buy these uh, on just about anywhere. I do recommend the pad. Good morning. You're going the right way. Okay. <laughs> Good morning. Head control turn three. Yep. 
first participants have passed my location. Thank you, sir. So far, this little radio is running flawlessly. It's been a good day. Let me see if I can secure and go home. That control water three. Three, go ahead. Tells past my location. Request permission to secure. Hi, thank you, sir. Appreciate it. K5 FTC. Water 3 secure, AF5DM. Well, there you have it, folks. The TID Radio E3 small package does what it needs to do uh, in the field under test. I think this is going to be my next favorite radio. Thanks for watching.